Uh, I've been playing soccer for about 14 years now. Uh, I play club year round, and this is my third year on varsity. I've also been playing soccer for 14 or 15 years now. Um, same club as Dan, GPS, and this is also my third year in varsity. Oh, I've been playing soccer just like these guys, basically as long as I can remember. I think since we were like four. Um, and yeah, I've been playing club soccer ever since, year round. Um, just like these guys have been on the team for three years. Yeah, this is my 13th year at Hopkinton, both as a teacher and a coach. Um, I love working with the kids here. They're always really positive. They work hard. So it makes my coaching job easier. We can come out and just work on soccer stuff. And uh, there's a lot of school spirit and student support. You know, we had a game at 5 o'clock last Friday evening uh, at Fruit Street. And there's a great turnout from the student body. So it's just a really encouraging place to uh, coach. The Hopkinton Hillers boys varsity soccer team started off the season on a high note as they shut out Ashland 4 to nothing. I think it was important to the guys to start off with a win. The last couple of seasons we uh, started with a loss and just to get that positive momentum I think was the most important part of it and I think uh, scoring a few goals also uh, reinforced uh, everything we've been working on in practice. On Tuesday, September 13th, the Hillers picked up another win against Medfield and improved their record to two wins and one loss. I asked the coach about the expectations for this year's experienced roster of players. Yeah, you know, I think the expectations are always built into the kids. Um, I really don't have to do much to uh, push them to be motivated to play. They always come in motivated and they want to win for the school. And uh, so that's usually not a problem. Uh, all right, I think the team's looking pretty good this year. Um, compared to teams in the past, we've got a lot of strong seniors um, and then a lot of strong sophomores too, a lot of young guys that have played club for a while. Um, and I think compared to years past, we move the ball really well, quick passing, one touch, and a really good combo play. It works well. We're definitely a passing team this year. We're not a long balls team. We like to keep the ball on the ground, and, and we have a lot of guys who take really good touches. And, should be good at possessing this year. You know, we have uh, a lot of talent, a lot of depth. Uh, we've got great senior leadership, uh, positive attitude, all the ingredients of a really good season. I think our defense this year is really strong. Um, we have a good mix of guys in every position, young and old. So I'm looking forward to working with them the rest of the season. We also have Brian Gone coming back from a shoulder injury in a month or so. so. So what are the Hillers working on in the early season practices? We've worked a lot on kind of our overall shape as a team, kind of offensively and defensively. Um, and I guess just moving the ball around like we like to do, um, getting shots off, combo play, stuff like that. Going forward, we're going to work on just putting the ball in the net because we have a lot of opportunities and we've got to finish them. As soon as we do, we're going to be lethal.